So I'm doing my first overlanding trip since Overland Expo Mountain West. And I thought I'd talk about what Overland Expo Mountain West is. So Overland Expos are a place where people who like to do overlanding can gather. It's a community. There are tons and tons and tons of vendors and sponsors. And also a lot of manufacturers that are showing off their new, newest and greatest stuff. Expo Mountain West is pretty cool. Uh, because it was in our backyard or my backyard so it was only about two hour drive up to the loveland area from colorado springs and i was able to take a friend along who knew nothing about overlanding either he had never even heard of it i just said hey you want to go to go to this with me and uh, he said yes his name is doug and you'll see him in some of the videos uh, that i'm going to be showing you here of overland expo mountain west it's an amazing time we got to do a couple of rounds of a track in a jeep at the Kenda Tire booth. We were able to ride in a Dodge Ram over a course to check that out, which was actually pretty cool. Would have been more fun if we got to drive ourselves. But the cool part was just talking to people. If you were standing in line, you could have a conversation with anybody and that was amazing. In the world today, like community is just something that's sort of missing. It just feels like more and more often we care less and less about other people. And the overlanding community, everybody's been super nice. I even got a chance to meet uh, Kara from uh, Ozark Overland Adventures. Matt was standing right there, but he was talking with somebody, didn't want to interrupt him. And it was just nice to talk to them. They're just normal people like anybody else, and they just happen to have a YouTube channel. So they're just sharing things that they're passionate about, which is basically exactly why I'm starting my channel too. I've always kind of needed this creative outlet for something, and so this is a chance for me to do that. The expos, there's a couple things, there was lots of stuff I liked. Great community, lots of cool people, but there were some things that probably could have been a little bit better too. One of those things was there's just a, a lot of really expensive vehicles and a lot of expensive stuff. So you definitely have to do your research and decide what it is you're gonna, what do you, you think you're gonna need or what you know you're gonna need. So it really helps to just, if you have a tent or a way to sleep in your vehicle or whatever it is to just go out to a site and try it out. We did that. So we, we had some backpacking equipment and we took that out into Tucson. We learned some things from that. Uh, and just found out that that mattress wasn't going to work. So we got an XPED Mega Matt Duo. And we're now we're going to try that out. We also learned like there were some other things that we didn't have that we probably wanted. When you when you kind of find out the things you need, then you can kind of determine like going to an expo, you get to see a lot of cool stuff. It might, and many of those things might be out of reach and kind of unrealistic. There were a number of vehicles that were over a million dollars. And that was kind of crazy. But uh, it's still cool to go see that stuff and get ideas and think about do I need that? No. Or, hey, that's a really great idea. And also for products, if there's something you really want to try before you buy, it's a great place to do that too. So go check, check out products, make sure that they're really what you want them to be before you pick them up. And you can, you know, put them in your hands, try them out. Um, and there's something to be said for, for that rather than just buying it on Amazon. If you don't like it, you return it. It gets, giving a chance to talk with the people who sell it or build it is pretty cool as well. And then the other thing that I think is really neat is one of the vehicles we're interested in is new Tacoma for 2024. And the Tacoma and the Land Rover were there, the, the new versions. Engineers were on site at one point, I think, but there were definitely some, some people there from the sales area and they were able to talk about the vehicles and give you some information, answer questions if you had them, as long as they were able to share information. Obviously things like pricing and availability, that kind of stuff wasn't something they were there to talk about, but they could talk about what they really liked about the vehicles and they've had a chance to drive them. And I think that's, that's pretty cool. So lots of vendors, lots of manufacturers and being able to talk to them direct is awesome. Then you get some YouTube personalities there too. And so you get to meet some people that you might be watching videos of all the time. So lots of different cool things there. My friend, Doug, who'd never been to anything like this. He initially was like, I don't know, dude, if this is my thing or not. And he has an old Jeep. So he was very interested in like, could I do this in my Jeep? How would that work? Uh, we also had a really good time in that Jeep course uh, from Kenda Tires. That was that was a lot of fun as well. We both had a good time. We both learned a lot. We didn't get to attend as many of the, the sessions they have, um, which would have been helpful. Hopefully next time I'll be able to attend some of those sessions and learn some things um, like how to change a tire on a trail or um, how to survive, that kind of thing. So anyway, that's my real quick take on Overland Expo Mountain West. I had a great time. I recommend it. Go check your Go check one out sometime. Live your life in beta. Check some things out and we'll talk to you next time.